name is Gary Filson and welcome to our pre Bolton Cup final special edition of Soccer Surgery. I'm Kay Murray and I'm so excited tonight as I hope you all are. And I'm even more excited because tonight we're going to be interviewing the ex borough player, Gary Gill. Yay! Handsome, if I've never seen a handsome man before. Anyway, we've got a brand new game tonight as well. It's a tribute to the Welsh, and it's, uh, well, and also we're going to get referee George Courtney to explain the offside rule to us, put in a very special word. That's true, but tonight we've got something so special, something oh. we've never had before Proper telly. on Soccer Surgery. Proper telly we've this. got a live link up with Cardiff. We've got Borough TV Extra's very own Michael Wader waiting for us in Cardiff right now. How are you doing, Michael? How are you doing, Michael? Are you all right, Hello, Mike? Kay. Hello, Gary. Hello, oh, Dr. Brown. Well, I'm very wheel, intrigued isn't? to hear Kay saying that she's never had me before. Well, of course, we are here in Cardiff at the City Arms. It's Key Street in Cardiff. We have our MSV Team of the Week here as well. They have come all the way from Middlesbrough to be with us tonight. We'll be talking to them a little bit later. But now, though, back to Middlesbrough. Wow. Are they behaving themselves? I don't yeah, think they are. they are. I don't think they are. Anyway, I've just got to go and take a leak. There's the comedy Welsh Believe joke me, out the way. It will get better. I'll Let's tell you take what. it away there with we go. an amazing space. Comedy crops. joke. <laughs> comedy joke. Hold on with the amazing space frogs. This is a song we wrote just for the people of the North East, especially the Teesiders. He is for the tease, stretch and proud and wide. He is for the echo from the noise of Riverside. He is for England, you know the north is best. S is for the spawners, the voices never rest. S is for the seaside, I sing from by the sea. It's not Miami, but it'll do for me. I is for that industry shining in the dark. Sees out every little good or it's a part. He is for Europe, one day we shall win. All is for the red and white hair, but what we share. Talk on me and Jordy, you're something outsider. Cos I'm born and bred, a team team sire. Well, we're not from the weir, we're not from the time. Let's sing the song one more time. Please for the taste, the French and powder wine. He is for the echo from the noise of Riverside. He is for England, you know the north is best. S is for supporters, the voices never rest. S is for the seaside, like Satan by the sea. It's not my Miami, for it'll go for me. I is for a industry shining in the dark. See down every little good or less a part. E is for Europe, what I do is a rain. R is for the red white, there the war was shared. I would have written in London if the tent had been a sire. I'm proud to be a T-T sire. Beyonce knows it. I'll tell you what, for our quiz question this week, what the hell were they singing? Could you understand the lyrics there? <laughs> Answers on a postcard to Gary Phillipson, care of Fishbone Beck. Have you heard Gaz giving it? You should have seen him. Earlier oh. on this week, me oh. and Gaz went out for lunch. Yeah, I, I know what I've never seen anyone eat so much no. human dustbin. No, no. Let me. let me explain what happened. Because I, I came down, because I like to come down to see everybody on a Wednesday, and I decided to take care out for lunch. And it was £5 eat as much as you can at Pizza Hut. <laughs> so we all went down and had a great time. I, but you ate a bit too much, didn't you, guys? Well, so what? They were a bit shy in putting the pizzas this is out. What but he does, he goes, oh, I haven't seen this one before. 
Oh, this one looks nice. I better try it. I'll just a little bit of information about Wales, because I want to try to keep you informed about Wales. Apparently, to uh, enter a leak show, you've got to be able to show six inches of white <laughs> on your leak, if you know what I mean. Oh, um, right, well, for some unique belt. footage that's never been seen before, we're going to call this the real road to Cardiff. And it is the real road to Cardiff. Take a look at this. <laughs> Well, I've been asked to give you my video diary for the road to Cardiff because I know it's the big soccer surgery pre-cup final special. And whilst you're all enjoying yourself in Middlesbrough for Friday night, I'm already in Cardiff getting ready for the final. And of course, the big game, which we'll all be at on Sunday. So here we go. It's Michael's Road to Cardiff. As you can see, there we are, sticking to a rigid 70 miles an hour all the way down. Normally, of course, the, the video diaries are done by sort of team of the week. So I do feel like later on in this short film, I should get my belly out. It's quite long, the uh, road to Cardiff, as you probably already worked out. So you probably need to do some things that maybe keep you entertained. So Dan and I are going to play a game. I'm going to start, Dan, yep. I spy with my little eye. Car, congratulations, your go. As you can see from this, Dan appears to have perfected the art of driving the car without actually using any hands. Dan, will you just demonstrate you have got a hand on the steering wheel by placing it higher up? this white van and this uh, motorbike and you'll, and you'll just be fine. Oh, God. <laughs> or not, because we've just gone the wrong way. Aridian Ran Amsir. If you're actually Welsh living in the borough, I apologise for my pronunciation. That's Cardiff. Obviously, our map's so old that you'll notice there it says Millennium Stadium under construction. Trust me, it's been built. Well, amazingly, security had my name and they've let me in. I'm here, I'm in Cardiff, I'm at the Millennium Stadium. Behind me, there is the North Stand, which is where 30,000 Borough fans will be on Sunday for the Carling Cup final. So, my road to Cardiff ends here, so from me to you back in Middlesbrough, Dr. Browns, I'll see you all on Sunday. Well, do you know what? That was so riveting, I've had to weld my trousers dead, off. Dead, dead exciting, wasn't it? Road to Cardiff, successful footage. It's going for a BAFTA next year, vote for it if you can. You can get your pickup forms from Thank any you. wimpy. <laughs> anyway, it's time for the Borough Brain. Well, this week's MSV Team of the Week are actually in Cardiff so with Michael. How special is that? It's so unbelievable. we're going to go back over there now to see them. It's unbelievable. Left us. Welcome back to Cardiff. We're in the City Arms pub. Now, that's on Key Street in Cardiff, and it's within spitting distance of the actual Millennium Stadium. It is literally 50 metres from the Millennium Stadium, so if you're down here on Sunday and you want to come for a drink before the game, this is perhaps one of the places to come to. And it's our MSV Team of the Week, my six newest best friends, and they are here. Well, I'll start with this fella next to me. This is Andy. Say hello. How are we doing? And this is Tony. And that's Graham, and that's Mark, Hello. and that's Scott, Hi. and that's Nathan. <laughs> now we're going to go to Graham first of all, because Graham has sorted all this out. Graham, how did you all get together? Um, well, most was met at school when we were 11 um, onwards, but this lad when we were 16, we've just been mates ever since for the last 20 years basically. And you're looking forward to, I guess, a great weekend in Cardiff, aren't you guys? Well, I've thought nothing else for the last three weeks, I mean, great to be here, fantastic. Are you a lifelong Borough fan? What about yourself? Lifelong Borough fan? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. How many games do you get to? Season ticket holder at North Stand, boy. Season ticket holder yeah. in the North Stand. Yeah. Right, well, we've got a Borough Brain competition coming up for you a little bit later. Now, have you been revising? Yes. Yeah, you've been re <laughs> Hey, hey! Right, clock in the corner, is it there? 
and I think it's gone there, is it? I've not done this before. So, here we go. Question one. Are you ready? Yeah. Who was Middlesbrough's record signing? Massimo Macaroni. Correct. Yum, yum. Which Borough player celebrates his 37th birthday this weekend? Colin Cooper. Colin Cooper. Correct. That's two. To the nearest 1,000 tonnes, how much concrete was used in building the Millennium Stadium? 8,000. Eight. No, 40,000. 40, Too late, I'm afraid. You should be the long answer. Which end will Borough fans be in North on Sunday? Sunday. North Down. North Congratulations. Sunday. Which fans will be noisiest on Sunday? Oh, 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 oh. Congratulations. Four. How funny was it when Reyes scored an own goal in the semi finals? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it A, quite funny? Was it B, very funny, or three, was it loss of bladder control? Oh, bladder control. Oh, bladder control. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Five, ten yeah. seconds yeah. left. Which current Barara striker and ex Bolton player was capped by England? Yeah. And he will be again. Oh, who yes. are the sponsors of the Carling Cup? Carling Carlin. And who won the League Cup last year? Yeah, I've started so I'll stop. Always wanted to say that. MSV, Team of the Week, here in the City Arms in Cardiff, you got eight answers right. Oh. Pretty good, I think. Pretty good. Went back the front. Well, are you all looking forward to the game? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can't win. Well, now then, from Cardiff, we're going to hand back to Dr. Browns and Middlesbrough, and it's Kay and Gary. I feel like, you know what, I feel like we're on, you know, the Eurovision where it comes back to, uh, comes back to Dr. Browns. Ed Poir. Do you know what I feel like? Taps. Rubbish. Do you know what I feel Love like? What do you feel Chicken like? Chicken tonight! <laughs> hey, I can cheat all the way like to Ian Cardiff. Right. I'll tell you, you fantastic like stuff. Right. Hey, did you see Gary Neville's dad there on the butter team there? Neville Neville. Neville, Neville. Neville, <laughs> Neville. Unbelievable stuff. Anyway, anyway, let's see how some of the boys at Bolton are feeling ahead of this Sunday's game in this week's news. Oh, come up now, my door, cheeky devil, you know. Said he was from Port Clarence. He says, I've heard you've got tickets for a cup final. I says, I have, I've got nine, because, you know, me lover, me, 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 me lo lodger, Ray. Ray, your he's, lodger. He's, he's got a friend at the club. He's got nine tickets. I, I need a ticket. I don't think you've got what I'm looking for, if you know what I mean. Hello, welcome to this week's news ahead of the cup final game against Bolton. Just in that Bolton are off to Blackpool as soon as the match at Cardiff finishes. Sounds nice. Nice big mm. rock. Because that way, at least they can see what it'll be like to travel in an open top bus. <laughs> or a donkey. <laughs> Talking about donkeys, Bolton's Spanish signing, the facially challenged Ivan Campo, will well, hopefully be taking a Spanish tradition on board this Sunday and having a siesta. Between two and four should be fantastic, Ivan. I know you're watching. We caught up with the multiple followed footballer this week. Hola amigos, me amo Ivan Campo, footballer por el Bolton. I turned to football as I could not find my forte in España, so I came here to Inglaterra, but hope there will be no more wars in Britain, as I think I will be prime target in those hair raids I hear about. Anyway, I find I'm not so ugly after all, but who exactly is this Peter Beardsley? Get back to work, you fat curly get. Bevins have designed a new bra which will be called the Bolton bra. No, not I don't. coincidentally, it's not very popular and it has no cups <laughs> and very little support. Oh no, 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 no. Before we go on, I'd like to announce the competition winner. Uh, we did ask this question and it was correctly answered. Well, this was the question. How many Bolton fans does it take to change a light bulb? The answer, of course, on the back of a postcard or a, uh, a licked down postal order was, of course, both of them. Yes, well done to Mr. Justin Timberlake from Winnie Banks. He's loving it. Well done. Justin. And in true TWN style, we had a word with the opposition's manager, Sam Allardyce. Allardyce. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hello. My name is Big Fat Sam Allardyce and I've been invited here to Buddha TV Extra to be on soccer surgery this week's news because I've got a confession. I'm a Buddha fan. Over the past four years has been a master plan of mine to sign really bad Finnish international goalkeepers. 
over the hill Frenchmen and fat Spaniards, just in a culmination that this Sunday we will lose the Carling Cup. But it's all gone nuts. I signed this guy called JJ Kotcher. I thought he was a walnut salesman. But no, it turns out he can score free kicks from anywhere. I signed him on the premise that he sold walnuts. I can't believe it. Anyway, up the butter, and I hope they win on Sunday. My name is Big Fat Sam Allardyce, and I love you all. Come on, Tayside. Well, that's about it. We'll see you in Wales. We'll see you in Let's Wales. Let's hope there's no sheep involved, because that would be so wrong. I tell you what, though, I've just I've been watching that there this week's news, and have you noticed Sam Allardyce has gone slightly Haitian on us with a shrunken head? Yeah. You see, um, he's got slightly he Haitian. He can't the camera. He's so rude. I think I think he just loves the butter that much. His head is just well deposited water all over the floor. <laughs> there we go. It's on there. You can see it. There's the shrunken head of Sam Allardyce. You've seen it here first. Measure it tomorrow if you want on the Sam Allardyce or Steve McLaren. Both. Anyway, <laughs> we've got a special guest in uh, this week. We we love getting special guests in, but. This one is the specialist guest I've ever had. I used to worship this man as a child. I had pictures in my bedroom, and I also had a T-shirt made, which was taken off me at school. I couldn't wait in PE. Mr. Gary Gill. Too kind, Gary. Oh, what a wonderful man you are. Thank you very much, sir. Gilly, lovely to have you here. Yeah? Yeah, Thanks pleasure. for coming along. No problem. And uh, um, we've got you along because we want to talk to you about the... Because you're a professional footballer, or were a professional footballer, right. of high esteem. What will be going through players' minds tonight? I think the manager would be wanting them to enjoy themselves, enjoy the occasion look forward to the match that's going to be taking place be relaxed as much as they can because if you get tense you're going to use energy that you're going to need uh, for the game on Sunday because I did, I did some research and I, I thought you played in the Zenith Data Cup no, I just left just before I know yeah. see that's how good of a cup final it was yeah, I thought so you like, were playing well Colin Todd took over right. and I got on with Todd but Bruce got rid of us just before he got the sack oh. so it was a bit of a bad time we did so. do our research what i loved the most was that in first year seniors you said man city came in for you yeah. and you said no nah, thanks i'll wait for borough yeah, and i loved yeah. that you waited that's for because we did yeah, so well. for the borough <laughs> no there was a, when you were a kid at school you got a lot of clubs after you generally if you were decent and i think nearly all the lads at that stage would always stay with the uh, with the home True, did you, did you t stay in touch with a lot of the lads that you sort of played of in that period not really now because they're spread all over the place right. there's still a few around here which you see now and again but most of them are just spread all over the place and that's a long time ago as well like do you speak to any of them i speak to some of the players that we right. used to professionally play with i was taught to Stuart ripley just last week with Colin really? in fact i'll probably give coops a ring before Again, wish wish him good luck. Yeah. Because you you went you did you made the leap you went into sort of management as well because you were manager of Gateshead for a period of time. Yeah, yeah that was hard work. Did, was really, was it? Managing. So what? what you well, it was semi-professional stuff, you know, and it was quite a high. Yeah, I did. It was quite <laughs> a high level. Right. Really, the standard was pretty good, but it was technically a semi-professional position. But it really, was hard work. It really, it was a full-time job if you try to do it right. When you're a player, do you always think I'm going to make that jump into management. I think a lot of them do, yes, yeah. certainly coaching and management's the, the natural pr uh, progression really, but um, I fancied it, yeah, I fancied it big style, it was only that I had a, a bit of a car crash, nice. I stopped it. You're too nice to well, be you a manager. Well, you never saw me in the dressing room. Well, I would have, you would have been really nice with people who <laughs> say, oh, go on, let me rub that lad on your legs. <laughs> what, and please score a goal for me? Yeah, please, go, go on, go out there, score a goal. Yeah. I, I, I don't see the nasty sign of you, Gilly. Say. Well, it's not that nasty. Have I been too nice to him? No, Gary's always, I've known Gary since I was 17. That sounds bad. All oh, right, steady on, mind. <laughs> 17. Remember that age, 17. Oh, we had a laugh. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we had a good yeah, laugh. It's good. Yeah. yeah. No, but I used to, when I was management, I used to talk to players. You know, so you know I've got a bit of history behind me now, so maybe you wouldn't want to know me anymore, Gary. <laughs> a bit of psychology. As you, as you said before, though, you, you, you did have a, a bad car accident. How has that affected you in your progression to go on? within your sort of football well, career? Well, sporting-wise, I've got a, my knee's a bit of a problem, so I'll have to wait and see how it, that comes out, really. So, right. it's, so it's improved an awful lot. I'm really quite happy the way it's gone, but it was a bad accident, so... You know. have, you, have you done all your badges and everything? Because you, yeah, you need yeah. them now, don't you? Yeah, you've got to be fully qualified. I've done all that stuff. I did it most of that years ago. So have you got, like, your three widths and your, your full length badge? Well, Is that what, what you need? Because <laughs> I, I used to have them on my swimming trunks and everything. <laughs> so so how, how are you educated now? You're as a coach. As a coach, you're a person. As, well, as a, as as a, a coach, coach, I don't want yeah. to go into your O levels. Because yeah. Prop told us about his O level in metal work, and that was just, it didn't make good telly. I'm Proc, sorry. Prop never got an O level in metal work. That's what he reckoned it was. That's why he didn't get off at the manager's job. And it was his only one. <laughs> o level. Anyway, Gilly, what we need you to do tonight, because we know you're a great guy, a lovely fella, great personality around the Teesside area. We need you to be a judge tonight for us. Only if you're singing. Ah, yes, it's true. Look, you said be nice when you'd be right, nice sorry, to me. Sorry. Will you be a judge for us tonight in our po uh, popular quiz, Tough Idol? I'd love to. Right, wonderful. Go. 
It's not unusual to have fun with anyone. Right, we're going to do something that is oh. typically Welsh because the valleys are very popular for song, dance, and leeks and Welshmen. I'm going to give you some famous Welsh people Shirley Bassey, Charlotte Church, Saddam Hussein, Tom Jones. Tonight, we're going to bring you Taff Idol. Okay, it's a special karaoke style game, and because all the Welsh are great singers, we thought we'd pay tribute. But we're going to do a Tom Jones a thon. We're going to have our special Gary judging it. Gary Gill. Here he is. He's our very own Simon Cowell. Pull them up tighter, son. <laughs> Pull them up so, tight. The best Nipple Tom high. Jones wins. So, can we have our first guest? Who's Tom our Jones, first guest? Please. For, oh, here we go. Bugsy. Bugsy, look at this, here. Bugsy, go on, son. Right, we've got to get you up and sing. Up, up, up. Get on and sing. Right. Up Just under the stage. <laughs> up on the stage. There's, there's the leak <laughs> microphone. It is a leak. Yeah. Right then. Fire away. <laughs> Sex bomb, sex bomb, I'm your sex bomb. Do it on me, baby, when you see me come on. Sex bomb, sex bomb, I'm your sex bomb. Baby, do I turn you on? Oh. Hey. Right, Bugsy. Yeah, yeah. Bugsy. Bugsy, right, right, come on. Come on, Bugsy, up, up there, right. What do you reckon, guys? Now, contestant number... What do you reckon about that, guys? Are you going for an early doors yeah, response? Do you reckon how you're going to do after that? Uh, right. I've got a clue. <laughs> Get yourself up there. Look at that. Look at Tom Jones. It's yes. not unusual, Delilah. Come on, give us a second. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. But -da -ba -da -ba -da. It's not unusual to be happy when having fun. <laughs> That's it. Right then. Right. So I'm um, going. Gary, what do, <laughs> what do you reckon about that? I'm putting the marks down, Gilly. Well, first of all, Philip said, what do you reckon? Um, Luxembourg, nil poir, <laughs> Alemania, deux poir. That you don't, you don't understand, do you? Nah. I'll give it a number two. Gilly, what do you reckon? Yeah, I thought it was a very high standard, the pair of you. <laughs> <laughs> There's his management covered up. <laughs> no, that was excellent. And um, I have to say, I'm going. Do you want some lake? Well, I'll just have my two. Okay. Well, what about the six like inches of white joke? <laughs> looks like it's Andy. Well, well done, Andy. Well done, Andy. Well done, well done, done man. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. You won a prize. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, Come on, there, Bora. Okay. <laughs> right, okay, then. and that's tough idol. That's sim simply. It's not unusual to have fun with anyone. Okay, so you might not have understood a word that the band said earlier, like Gary said. You might not have understood a, wor a word Gary said, but maybe you'll learn to understand the offside rule after this package you'll see now. The offside rule was first introduced in 1863 to make football a more fairer and interesting game to watch. So I'm here today at the Riverside to speak to referee George Courtney. We're here today because there's been a lot of controversy about the offside rule and I thought who better to ask than a referee himself. I can't guarantee a 100% <laughs> answer and by the way there's been controversy over Law 11, the offside law, since the game was invented. But in this case, it's just the interpretation of offside that's changed, it's caused a bit of confusion. If it the... was Bolton, I think that definitely they're, they're seeking to gain an advantage or they're interfering with the player. Right. But if it was Borat... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the old Nelson's eye. <laughs> Now, the new interpretation, I sound as if I know it quite well. You do. <laughs> the new interpretation is um, the, the, the FIFA, the world's governing body, are now saying give the advantage to the attacker. Yeah, because the advantage used to always lie with the defender, they were always given the benefit of well, the that's doubt. That's true, that's true. If there's any doubt, the assistant would wave this guy offside. Now, what FIFA is saying, um, uh, if there's any doubt, you must give the advantage to the attacker because FIFA are wanting the leagues to encourage the scoring of more goals. <laughs> uh, 
when I was, I was an assistant referee at one time, and I was told to get the flag up immediately if I thought the guy was in an offside position. Again, the difference in interpretation now is that the assistant referees are being told to wait and see. And I'm giving it at that pace. The ball is played in, wait and see what happens to the ball before you indicate or with a flag or you don't indicate. <laughs> and you know, I'm still refereeing without specs. It's fantastic. I can't see the strips, but I can see the outline of the players. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now before we go, I hope you understand that rule now, by the way. Before we go, we're going to go back to Michael to say a quick goodbye. So when will I be active in the box? Hmm? <laughs> I hope tonight, Gary. <laughs> well, welcome back to the City Arms. Hey! some new people here. They're actually uh, from this part of the world. We are in Wales, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. They're going to support Borough for the weekend. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Quick predictions then from our team of the week. Who's going to win and what's the score? Middlesbrough 2 0. I concur with Andy 2 0. 2 0, Janino, 88 minutes to see it. 3 1 to Middlesbrough, get a monkey on it. <laughs> 3 2 to the Borough, Ricketts last goal. 1 0 to Borough, extra arm winner. Yes. Say goodbye to the Borough and to Dr. Brown. Hey! to say a big special thanks to tonight's special guest, Mr. Gary, Gary Gale. Gale. Well gorgeous done, Gary Gale. Gorgeous Gary Gale. Gorgeous Gary Gale. And I just want to say good luck to the Borough for Sunday. We all rooting Can't behind wait. you. So Come on, it. let's play you out Borough. with the Space Frogs. Come on, the Borough. Bye-bye. You can understand this one for those sign languages. Now, this one's uh, called Paparazzi. <laughs> If you are royalty, you're someone doing well. I'll be like a stalker, making your life hell. Sound of my setbacks, and one of them is me. As long as I get the shot, don't get about the privacy. Cause I'm a paparazzi, I work for the good press. You better shut your blinds when you shut up or undress. To capture in my chair. You will meet the front page of you with nothing like that. With the blood on your arm, I'll get you with a flash. We don't do with body art, we do it for the cash. Cos I'm a paparazzi, I'm a paparazzi. You better shut your blinds when you show up or address. I'm a paparazzi, morals we have none. You don't need a conscience and a mirror or the sun. Click, click! Click, click! Click, click! Click, click! If you're in dire straits or end up in disgrace, all you get from me is my zoom lens in your face. Reasons on the stretcher, we'll catch you from a mile. We make up the story and you don't have to smile. Cos I'm a paparazzi, I work for the good and press. You better shut your blinds if you shall or undress. I'm a paparazzi, morals we have none. You don't need a conscience or a mirror or the sun or the sport. Or the body. Or the star. Or twinkle. On the evening he's it. Or Jackie. You're just tomorrow's toilet player. Good night, thank you.